Hey guys, this is Mitz, and today we're going to be working on the dust collection system for our Onefinity enclosure. So let's get started. Okay, as we look at the uh, tabletop and uh, the, the machine, the Onefinity, from the front of the table, we're going to locate the hole um, right at the back end of the table on the left hand side which would then become the right hand side if you're at the back of the table and we're going to locate the hole right here um, one of the first things I did was to take a straight edge put it up against my grid line um, which is the max area cutting area of the uh, onefinity just to make sure that wherever I located that hole was not going to interfere with any workpiece that I might uh, uh, have if I were to be tiling I originally thought of putting the pipe over here, but as you can see, the barrel bolt is in the way and I need to be able to access it so I could slide the, uh, uh, the uh, enclosure back. So um, I chose to put it over here and I think it'll probably be of benefit anyway uh, because I think uh, it'll just not give you a real sharp corner as it connects to the uh, boom arm. The other thing I did was I took, I, I bought a couple of uh, these non-flanged connectors and um, I slid that onto the pipe and with PVC cement, I just glued it in place so that uh, the pipe would be able to rest there. Um, I don't have any holes um, where I'd lose any kind of vacuum. And uh, when I get the boom uh, tomorrow, I'll be able to play around with it and decide, you know, whether this pipe needs to be shorter. So this is the back side uh, where the uh, table will be up against this wall. And uh, all the connections for the vacuum system are going to be here. Um, so I took the uh, Y fitting, um, put that on there. I've got uh, some two inch PVC pipe right here that um, I'll attach a flex hose, uh, which will go to the dust deputy, and then from there it'll go to my vacuum. And then I took uh, uh, a couple of blast gates and installed them. I used uh, a couple of uh, rubber connectors with uh, some clamps on it. If I ever need to get into the uh, PVC pipe, it gets plugged up or for whatever reason, um, it's easier to take it apart than to try and cut uh, uh, PVC pipe that's already been uh, cemented in place. So anyway, I've got the, uh, the blast gates in place. Uh, one will go to the Onefinity um, inside the enclosure, and then the other one will go up the wall and move on to other equipment that I've got in the shop. So I wanted to take a minute to talk about these flexible connectors. Um, I prefer to use them. They're made for sewer pipe, which is fine. This is just PVC pipe that I'm using anyway. But, um, you know, originally I was going to put in a connector uh, on top of here um, and then glue the pipe to it. The only problem that I see with that is if I ever have to get into it, then I've got a very st sturdy connection that I can't take off. Uh, the flexible connector just makes it a little bit easier uh, to, to install and remove. Um, I could loosen up both the screws, slide the connector up the pipe, and uh, be able to access the blast gate or access uh, uh, the other pipes as well. So you can see I've already connected one end of the flex hose uh, to the blast gate. The other end will connect to the pipe that comes down through the table from inside the enclosure. Um, I'll put a hose clamp on it and connect it up here, um, but it'll also make it easy to remove if I need to um, for whatever reason, but uh, at least um, it will be connected. It should be a, a pretty airtight uh, connection as well. So it's been a few days, but I finally got the part that I've been waiting for. Our post office decided to take this on a bit of a scenic tour, but it's finally here and I'm anxious to get it installed. 
So what we have is a hose boom that's uh, designed and made by Greg DeMont with Route One Design. And I'll put a link to his shop in the description below. You've got a mounting bracket that can go to either your enclosure or on an external wall um, if your machine is next to a wall. And um, what's really nice about this is that depending on the size of your machine, you could expand it from roughly 18 inches all the way out to 30 inches. And the bracket uh, would mount on a wall or inside your enclosure. And then you've got your boom that can swing around. And uh, I, I think it's a, a really cool design. What you've got are some hose brackets that uh, clip on. But if you choose not to use the hose brackets, there's uh, some uh, holes that uh, have been placed uh, strategically so you could use zip ties instead. Um, there's also slots in the uh, arm uh, ends to allow for your router cord to be fed through it um, so that your hose and your router cord uh, can all be run through the boom itself and out of the way of your machine. The bracket is attached to the back left corner of the enclosure. And uh, instead of using the hose clamps, I chose to use the zip ties just to hold it in place a little bit better. Uh, I didn't want the clips hanging down that extra half, three quarters of an inch. So this is the view from the back of the enclosure. As you can see, the pipe comes up through the table um, attaches to a hose. The hose is connected to the boom arm. The bracket for the boom arm is mounted on the back left corner of the enclosure wall. And then the hose is zip tied to the boom. Uh, one of the things that I failed to do when I got this was to order some of the mounts that uh, will hold, hold the hose up over top of the stepper motor. Uh, but those are on its way so uh, if you do order the hose boom make sure you have the uh, the Z brackets uh, so that the hose can come up and over that stepper motor as opposed to hanging off to the side like mine is So once I get the uh, clips that go up on the Z, the hose clips, um, I'll get this situated accordingly so that it's not dragging in behind. Um, and then I'll cut it off uh, to the appropriate length so that it fits into uh, the dust boot. So here's the final connection that uh, goes from the pipe coming through the table uh, to the blast gate and then to the Y connector and to the dust deputy. I'll get the uh, vacuum hooked up here and we'll give it a try. Okay, so the hose is temporarily zip tied to the stepper motor mounting plate, uh, just to represent uh, what it would uh, look like once I get the brackets, the Z brackets from uh, uh, Route One Design. Well, I hope this video is giving you some ideas for your dust collection system, whether it's in an enclosure or not. As always, feel free to reach out to me with any questions, and I hope you have a great day.